Ladies and gentlemen, we need to have a talk. We need to have an emergency meeting on some you-know-who shit, you know what I mean? It's Kazi. Welcome back to Daily Vlog Series, all right? We're going to daily vlog my life, okay? So, I've been on an absence because a lot's been going on in my life, right? So, I've been going through a heartbreak, as in a breakup, not just a heartbreak. I broke up with my girlfriend, so um, that's pretty sad. I might be moving to Miami, you know, we got to leave New York City, we got to go to Miami soon, soon, not right now, month or two, right, month or two, I'm still in Long Island, I'm still in the Bronx, you know, we got to represent the set, but, uh, um, yo, on some real stuff, though, your boy has been real busy, man, so, I might have to quit my job soon, I might go full-time on some content creation stuff, because that's where the money's at, I'm starting a lawn care business, I'm starting, I'm starting everything right now, to be honest, right, so this is the year I will be showing you guys how I make my bread, 2023 is bread year, right, so I know I've been gone since January, and it's the middle of February right now, happy Valentine's Day, everybody, so I'm celebrating it by myself, unfortunately, so right now, we're at humble beginnings, right, we were at the first gas station I ever got a job at when I was 19. Yeah, I was 19 when I got a job here. It's in Long Island. It's a, If you're from Long Island, you might be familiar with Bola, Bola Market. I used to work here in Long Island and near Hofstra University. This is where I used to throw out trash. That right there is the gas station, and it's across from the stadium over there. This is Sunoco gas station. So if you guys ever want to come, there's an uncle working here. You could be like, yo, Kazi used to work here. And he'd be like, oh, Kazi was my guy. Kazi was my guy. Okay. He's a cool uncle. If you guys ever want to holler, not for a dollar, though. But, um, bro, I'm trying to make independent money. I'm not trying to make money from a job anymore, to be honest. Because right now I'm at a point in my life, even though I'm only 22 by the turn 23 i'm at a point in my life where i can't i realize working 50 hours no i'm sorry 40 hours a week for 50 years makes no sense for me like it genuinely it makes no sense for me like to work my ass off to get 15 years of retirement and in those 15 years i'm past my prime like right now i'm in my prime i'm getting money in my prime but what I value more is my time now. I want to wake up when I want. I want to work based on my schedule. I want to work. Like, I want Saturday and Sunday to be a work day, you know? That's when everybody's home. That's where I can make the most business. I want to I wanna have Fridays off, you know? I want to have Fridays off. I want to be lit on Friday. I want to work on Saturday and Sunday, you know? Believe it or not, like, that's what I want to do. I don't want Saturday and Sundays off. People are the laziest on Saturday and Sunday, that's when they're off, they're done from their 9 to 5, their office jobs, their construction jobs even. Everybody's at home. Everybody's tired. Everybody will almost, most people, especially where I live in Long Island, got disposable income. So they'll pay you, they'll pay you to, you know, pressure wash. They'll pay you to um, paint. They'll pay you to mow lawns. You know what I mean? So this really, really is like what I'm focusing on this year. So I made a plan to make a hundred thousand. I made a plan to make a hundred thousand. All right. Look at this plan. Guys, if you want stuff to come true, write it down and then actually follow what you write down. And you guys are ahead of 99% of people. Like you guys are ahead of 99% of people. If you just write it down, most people want something, they don't even write it down what they want. They don't know the steps to get what they want. Okay, like for example, I said I want to make a hundred thousand this year on my own time, right? Look, I wrote the plan down to how to make a thousand, okay? Once I find out how to make a thousand and how many hours and yards it'll take me to make a thousand dollars, guess what? I just got to multiply that by ten. Because if it, if a thousand works, a hundred thousand will work. If two thousand works, double it by five. Times it by five. If a thousand works, times it by ten. If a hundred works, times it by a hundred. Get what I'm saying? 
you got the plan. I have now. I know all the hours. How many hours it will take me? How many lawns it will take me? How many hours a day I'm gonna have to work? How many hours a week I have to work? What's my average yard uh, time that I will take to mow the yard? What's my travel commute time? Like, bro, bro, this right here is the formula. I was expecting to make a whole page. I just made this page and I'm like, yo, I already understand what I need to do. I know this is my $1,000 goal. To get to a 10000 a month, I'm not going to have to do anything different. The math is the same. You just time do this 10 more times. Now, granted, I'm not going to be those fake gurus that be like, oh, yeah, just, just knock on doors. Everybody will say, yeah, just be a good salesman. You can be the best salesman you want. I wanted this coupe. My parents wanted the SUV. We had one of the best salesmen in that Mercedes dealership in Long Island. Guess what? We couldn't buy it. Because when you're set on no, you're set on no. Right? My parents were like, it's too small. I don't like the coupe. If we get a regular SUV. I didn't want that. I wanted the coupe. I wanted the AMG. But no. You could, you cannot convince my dad about, if he thinks no, it's going to be no. You could convince me. I'm open-minded. But back in the day, you can't convince somebody. I'll knock on a hundred doors today. Everybody, if everybody says no, I can't tell them anything else. I can't tell them I'll make your grass. Even if I tell them your grass will die and come back to life, the best grass in the world. If they don't want to spend that money, they're not going to spend that money. Let's be real. Stop listening to this rich dad, poor dad guy. This, these fucking Grant Cardones. Like, bro, listen to them when you have extra amount of wealth. When you're like... When you have 2 million liquid, then you could do the shit that they're talking about. Then you could walk with confidence, right? Bro, me and you, let's say even if you're making 200 a year, you can't think on those fucking levels. You see that building right there? Those buildings over there? Those buildings right there. That's the shit Grant Cardone's talking about, man. That's the buildings he wants. You think we could get, we can't even get a apartment in that building. Especially in locations like these. You got to start super, super small. And, like, I know maybe some of you guys been into that lawn care stuff. Right? Maybe you guys been into that lawn care stuff, right? Oh, that's police. Some of you. There has to be somebody into that, right? I guarantee they say, oh, don't charge less than $70 per hour. Don't charge less than $5 per hour. Like, some... Some shit that is like, how? I'm not, I'm nobody in the game. And I'm starting $75. Like, oh, just because you have a professional website means that you got professional prices. Like, why can't we be professional websites with non, com, like, with competitive prices instead of high class prices, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm like, let's cater to the middle class, low income, right? Because the high class is just too high class. Like, I don't want that headache. That's a good clientele. But not for me right now. I think I could take on some weird people at my age. Maybe when I get older, I'll definitely switch to the high end. But right now, I could take on and, you know, get my get my money. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do the math. $1,000, right? Now, before I get started, I will be doing this. I'm going to start it up next week. I'm gonna knock on doors. We're gonna we're gonna YouTube it. We're gonna knock on doors, right? If I fail, I'll fail. If I don't even get ten customers, if I knock, all right, I'm gonna try to knock five hundred to a thousand doors. If I don't get ten guaranteed monthly customers, I'm moving to Florida because I think a thousand is a good sample size to test the market out. And I'm not even gonna do it in one neighborhood. I'm gonna do fifty in one neighborhood, fifty in another neighborhood, and I'm gonna walk. I'm not taking this car. I'm gonna take. I wanna just. Pure, like, let's see if I could do what I need to do. All right. So, $50 a month for the yard. Right? Step one. Just to make $1,000 a month. I'm making $50 per month per yard. Right? That means if I want $1,000 and I'm making $50 a yard, I need to do 20 yards a month. Correct? Let's say one yard takes me 20 minutes. 20 yards times 20 minutes is 400 minutes, all right? Now we need that in hours. 400 minutes divided by 60 minutes it makes an hour is it's like 6.6, .6, so I just run it off to seven. Now, it's not seven hours 
because you have to commute to different like let's say i get 10 here and five over there and five over there i, I need to factor in that commute time i'm not going to be that far but let's just let's just say it takes seven hours for labor and another seven hours for commute time it's not but let's just say that right it's always better to over uh, uh, overestimate your time than underestimate it seven hours for work seven hours for commuting 14 hours a month to make these 20 yards to make a thousand dollars right 14 hours right now 14 hours a month divided by four weeks in a month i have to work three and a half hours a week to make a thousand dollars right now you just times that by want to make five thousand times that by five want to make ten thousand times it by ten want to make a hundred thousand times that by a hundred that's it it's really it there's nothing there's nothing special to the math yeah you could bump up these prices you could do it way quicker i don't want to bump up the prices i want to keep the prices right here this is where i want this is where i'm going to get my clients at this is where i'm going to get everybody at it's like this that's all you need i need a thousand dollars start thousand dollars bro guys guys you guys have a thousand dollars you guys have a thousand dollars. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You have a thousand dollars. Stop saying you don't have money. You guys have a thousand dollars, right? If you don't have a thousand dollars, cancel your internet for five months. You're at five hundred, and then save. You're at a thousand dollars. Cancel you. All right, you can't cancel your phone bill. Cancel your memberships. Cancel something. You'll be at thousand dollars. Thousand dollars is nothing, guys. Let's honestly be real. This day and age, thousand dollars is nothing. But what I walk with, man. All I walk with is two hundred dollars, probably three hundred on a good day. I'm in this nice ass car, and I still eat McDonald's. Even though I gotta lose weight, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you guys could get a thousand dollars like this. Thousand dollars could come like this. And all you gotta do is save, man. All you gotta do is save. Like, I'm not saying I'm frugal. Like, I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton kicks. I got Louis Vuitton shades. I got Saint Laurent sweaters. I got Dior sweaters. But if you want to start a business and you're saying you're broke, you're not broke. You're just un demotivated. Like, you guys could do it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm going through a heartbreak, and I'm still going to do it. So there's no excuse why you guys shouldn't be able to do it, all right? Yo, it's been a nice little tune-in. Uh, if I make another stop, I'm going to make another stop and update you guys. But right now... It is what it is, man. I love you guys. Sorry for the absence, but we're going to have mm, every two-day vlogs. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. And I told you guys I wanted to show you guys how I make my passive income with a little material business I got going on. So nobody on YouTube is talking about material businesses. So I'm out. Peace out. And I wish you all luck. And hopefully you guys will wish me luck too. Peace.